Walter, Walter, you gotta see this. Come here, quick, 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 quick. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm really busy right now, honey. Walter, get your ass out of here right now. Ah, uh, friggity frig. What's the matter, Martha? Well, look, look around, Walter. I put patio lights all over the yard. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good, honey. Can I, can I go back to watching my TV show, please? Okay, Walter, they aren't just regular patio lights. They're super garden magic lights. They turn on and off just by clapping your hands. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. One little clap and they go on. And another little clap and they go off. <laughs> See? Try it, try it, try it. It's very addictive. Yeah, I'm sorry, Martha, but I really don't have time for this right now. I'm watching Love Academy, and Lillian is about to get kicked out for making out with Raul in the hot tub. She might get eliminated, Martha. It's super intense. You and your stupid TV shows. It's not stupid, Martha. It's who we are. It's a reflection of our society. It's real life. Well, what about our real life, Walter? What about us? We never do anything anymore. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And just for once, it would be so nice to do something special, Walter, like making love in a snake pit in some exotic country with it. Oh, for crying out loud. That's it. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Walter, look! It's Martians! We're being abducted by Martians! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Now, wait a minute! Uh, I'm gonna miss my show! It put me down, would you? I'm out! Well, I'm in! And I'm ready! Bring me up, Scotty! Bring me up! So, Liliana, I'm looking at you and I'm aroused. Have you ever done it in a jacuzzi? Oops. That's gross, bro. Whatever, get lost. Ah, oh, Raul. Such a charmer. I sure hope he gets her in the sack. <laughs> Uh-oh. Not too sure we're in the right place, actually. Ooh! What the hell are you doing in my living room? Are you two boys Teletubbies? Ah! A human! You teleport us right next to a human! Hurry! Disintegrate her! You two are Danish, aren't you? You look a little Danish. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, greetings, Earth. My name is Zach, and this is my dear colleague, Zazu. We come from the planet Zwiz. Wiz? I don't know Danish, but... Oh, how rude of me. Here we are talking and I still haven't offered you anything to eat. Would you like a piece of maple fudge? Just took it out of the freezer. It's from 1982. I just put a little maple syrup on there and it comes right back to life. Zazu! Zazu, look at the glowardizer! She's got 100% pure Energon! <gasps> no way! Miss, I'm sorry, but we'll have to take you to the ship for further interrogation. Your ship? Oh, well, that's really very nice of you, but you know at my age, going on a cruise is... <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special news bulletin. We've just learned that alien spaceships shaped like giant irons are positioned all over the country from coast to coast to coast. <laughs> The Prime Minister's office has issued a statement instructing everyone to remain calm and to stay hidden in their basements. It is also advised to keep a flashlight on hand as, as well as a roll of, of duct tape. Duct tape, just in case. And now back to the exciting conclusion of Love Academy. Oh, I'm telling you, it's really practical. I always keep a roll in my uh, limo, in my jet, on my boat for sure, at the cottage. Even at the golf course, I always got some on me. Uh, that's great, but uh, what do you do with it? Oh, well, what don't I do with Mr. it? Mr. Prime Minister, we need to attack the invaders right now. Hit them with everything we got. Nuclear bombs, neutron missiles, everything. <laughs> ah, die, you scum suckers. <laughs> Woohoo! did you see them, Prime? <laughs> um, 
Okay, but, you know, as far as I can tell, they haven't done anything to us yet, right? Actually, there have been a few reports of people getting abducted, Mr. Prime Minister. <laughs> yeah, that's right! They're probably getting dissected alive as we speak! We need to deploy a rescue mission immediately! I'm calling for an airstrike! Send in the big boys! Whoa! The whole village, Peters! Wait, oh, well, Peters! Tripwire! Take an eight! Okay, I get your point, but, uh... But what about the Americans? What are the Americans doing? Does anyone know what the Americans are doing? Uh, nothing. Oddly enough, Mr. Prime Minister, the aliens are only invading Canada. Only Canada? It's a mystery. The aliens aren't any other place in the world. Only here, eh? But what do we have that the rest of the world don't? Guts! We got guts, Mr. Prime Minister! We ain't afraid to show those aliens who's boss by taking their heads clean off their bodies. Am I right, Peters? Pass me my semi-automatic, if you would. Slow motion! Peters! Grenade! <sighs> Regular motion! <laughs> Mrs. Peters, I hate to inform you, your son was killed in combat last year. But wait a minute now, isn't there some way we could, I don't know, like try to communicate with them? Like someone somewhere has got to know their phone number. Oh, wait, uh, uh, hold on. I might know just the man to help establish contact. Oh, really? But put a pin in that, General. It was a good idea. Hello? Who is it? Tony's Pizza. I got a large pizza with extra pepperoni. Dwayne, did you order a pizza by any chance? Uh, no, I don't think so. No? No? Hmm. Well, maybe we should open the door and find out what's going on. Ah! Surprise, suckers! I'm a terrorist, man! And now I'm hijacking this plane! Ha 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 ha! Alright, let's just take it easy here, fella. And then we'll do whatever you want, right, Dwayne? Where, where do you need to go? How about, you see that building? Yeah. Yeah, I just want you to smash this plane in the parking lot right before. Uh, uh, okay, okay, we'll do it. I just, just... Oh, I don't know if you've noticed, but you're missing a flip-flop. Oh, no, man, really? Oh. <laughs> so, as you can see, as I cleverly demonstrated here, the key to success is the element of surprise. <laughs> What I often find is handy is to use a word that they're familiar with. In this case, of course, it was flip-flop. <laughs> and I put it in your face. Oh, that, ah, that really hurts. I'm not actually a terrorist. I'm just an actor, man. What? Shut up. <sighs> Always remember, don't ever give in to the assailants, please. As it might just be a ruse. <laughs> Captain Cooper? Uh, yep, that's me. Follow me. Your country needs you. <clears throat> Me? Oh my goodness, Walter, look at this place. It's so beautiful. <gasps> look at that bed. It looks so soft. Come on, take your clothes off. Give Mom a little sugar. Martha, now's not the time to get Randy. We just got kidnapped by friggin' aliens. Oh, relax. If they wanted to hurt us, they wouldn't have given us such a nice room. <sighs> Earthlings, have no fear. We mean you no harm. What did I tell you? You. Oh, me? Yes, you, sir. You have been selected from amongst your kind due to your exceptional spermatozoa. My what? It, it's sperm? <laughs> If someone had told me this morning that we were going to go space cruising because of your jazz, I would have never believed that. Martha, cut it out, will you? Um, <clears throat> uh, thank you very much. I, I'm glad to hear that my sperm are winners, but, uh, uh when exactly do we get to go home? Uh, right after you mate with beautiful Susanna! Oh, boy. What? It appears our long journeys through space have, uh, grounded our schlongs. So you see, your services are essential to the survival of our race. No, no goddamn way. Uh, uh, Martha, uh, come on, it's, it's for the survival of their race. The guy sounds serious. You go ahead and lay one finger on that sex iguana and we're through, finished, finito. Um, if you do not cooperate, we will have to use force. <gasps> not my nuts. 
Uh, no, no. We have performed a scan on your brain. If you do not mate with beautiful Susanna, we will destroy what you cherish most in this world. Oh my God, what he cherishes most? That's me. <laughs> no, no. No, it's the Canadian tire by the highway. Oh no, not my Canadian tire. I'm afraid so, sperm man. Uh, all right, <sighs> fine, I give up. I'm sorry, Martha, but I'll be real quick, just like at home. Hey, if you go near that bed, you're gonna regret it, mister. Well, all right, you asked for it. He destroyed my clean <laughs> Where are we gonna get all our stuff? <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Now wait a minute, this is not bingo. You're aboard our spaceship, madam. Your spaceship? Well, it's roomy. Leave it to the Danish to really get into it with the spaceships. Chic. We have a few questions we'd like to ask you, madam. First, what is your sex? Oh, well, I, I, you know, it's just been so long, dear. But I will say I like being on top. Yeah, never mind that. Where did you get this Enagon, madam? No, Tarragon is, looks different. This is maple syrup. No, look, you see, one drop of this substance powers our spaceships to traverse the galaxy without having to fill up. It can also be used instead to power this adorable little toy for four days non-stop. Let's fly away in your spaceship, you and I I like to call him so Steven. Zazu he doesn't like it, but I think it suits him. I got him in the dollar bin for Spaceport in Club 7. We were on vacation. Four days. That's a long time. Okay, I think that's enough. Earthling, tell us immediately where your maple syrup mines are located. Maple syrup mines? No, dear, no. They make this stuff at the uh, supermarket. I don't think this is working, Zazu. Do you want to start the probe? Oh, yeah, let's do the probe. Mate at once, or what is second most important to you will also be destroyed. Martha? Martha, it's Big Daddy's on Highway 7 with the dinosaurs and the giant lumberjack. Oh, God, no, not Big Daddy's. It's a sacred landmark. That's my highway poo-poo spot when we go to the cottage. We can't let them destroy that. Come on, honey. We gotta make this sacrifice. I really don't want to, but clearly, we really don't have a choice here. It... Okay, fine, uh, but you better not enjoy it, mister. Oh, of course, Martha. I, I'll do everything in my power to hate it. Absolutely everything. <laughs> Wonderful. If you like, madam, there's a waiting room next door. We've got some nachos and some magazines. I think you'll probably feel more comfortable there until your husband is finished doing this exam. Oh, 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 my God. I hate it, honey. I hate it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> My fellow Canadians, how's it going? I stand before you today because we are faced with a grave danger. As many of you now know, Canada has been invaded by alien spaceships shaped like giant irons. We always welcome people with open arms in this country, but there's a damn limit to everything. I mean, we all like when relatives come over, but what we like even more is when they go. As of 4.20 p.m. Ottawa Standard Time, these alien terrorists destroyed, without warning, one of the finest Canadian tire outlets of this great country. It goes without saying that we cannot tolerate this. So by the power vested in me, by all the citizens of this beautiful land, I declare war on the people of space! Thank you! Thank you! Let's do this! So good to see you. Thank you. This is 
is Major McCoy. Open fire on my signal. We attack as one. Go get him, boys. <laughs> Ready? Aim! Fire! <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> We're dead. Well, not exactly, Mr. Prime Minister. There's one small glimmer of hope. Evil people from space, this is Captain Cooper of DC Flight 132. The time has come to negotiate the non-negotiable terms of your surrender. <laughs> Maybe try to be nice this time, okay, Captain? I mean, sometimes, you know, being polite goes a long way. Dwayne, you're such a wimp. You're embarrassing me. So just shut up, Dwayne. As the formal representative of the Canadian people, I demand that you free all abductees and that you leave our stratosphere immediately. Otherwise, we will be forced to finish what we started, which is your complete and utter annihilation! <laughs> okay, okay, gentlemen, why don't we all just calm down? Let's just calm down for, let's just take a, a deep breath. And out. There we go. Oh, doesn't that feel better? Listen, as a good friend of the formal representative of the Canadian people, I took the liberty of bringing you this wonderful little gift basket. Huh. Oh, my. You really shouldn't have. It's so nice of you. It's too much. Oh, no, it's, it was nothing. I, I got it at the airport. It's full of the best Canadian stuff in the universe. There's a poutine. A Nickelback Christmas CD, it's a cappella. It's supposed to be pretty good. Uh, Maple Leafs jersey, they've got a great chance this year. And uh, there's two large cans of maple syrup. Mm. Did you say two large cans of maple syrup? Yeah, yeah, there's maple syrup, yeah, yeah. Science, be quiet now. We have discovered that just a single drop of this most amazing liquid will allow us to meet all our energy needs for a billion years to come. Or it can also make this adorable little toy sing and dance non-stop for four days. Let's fly away in your spaceship. You and I will celebrate. <laughs> Isn't it cute? We have two of them at home, actually. Oh, I love this bit. Four days. So cute. Yeah, it's really amazing. And now you've got enough juice to keep it going for a while, right? Two big cans, that's a lot. So, uh, great, thanks for the visit and everything. Come see us in a couple of billion years. Maybe when you run out of the maple syrup. Come on, Dwayne. Not so fast. We have one other demand. Okay, what is it? Um, <clears throat> actually, it's kind of embarrassing. If it could stay between the three of us, that would be, you know very much appreciated. Go ahead. Well, the, you see, the problem is our people have, um, limp schlongs, hmm? They have what? They have limp schlongs, depressed dinks, weak wee-wees. No. Yes. So, we need an alpha male to, um, you know, fertilize our females. We can't do it. We'd like to, but no, we just can't. I see. What? Now, wait a minute. You know, I might just have the guy to solve your little problem. You do? So, Charisse, have you ever thought about uh, doing it in a jacuzzi? Uh, well, bro, what's going on? Oh, don't tell me I got eliminated. Come on. I was just about to score. Guy! Bro! Um, sorry, what am I supposed to do now? Do I, like, stay in the hot tub or, like, 
Oh my god, did I just win? Did I win? <sighs> oh, come on, Martha. You're not gonna stay mad like that forever. It was all very traumatizing for me, too, you know. Oh, I'm sure. Is that why you banged her three times in a row? <laughs> oh, come on. Don't make such a big deal about it. I... Was it really three times? Oh, I guess if you can't... Right, but it, I, I, look, I didn't feel anything. Everything I did was for the greater good of the universe. You know that. <laughs> yeah, what the hell was that for? Nothing, I'm just turning out the lights. Good night. Hello? Hey, Johnny boy, how's it hanging? Uh, not bad. Not bad. Johnny, listen, go to the roof of your crappy building. I'm gonna be there in under five minutes to pick you up. Bro, you are not gonna believe this guy. <laughs> Let's fly away in your spaceship. You and I will celebrate champagne. We'll sing and dance until the end of peace. Mm.